वी आर इन द वर्ल्ड लार्जेस्ट स्पोर्ट विद माइनस डिग्रीज राइट नाउ फ्रीजिंग टेम्परेचर्स ओह बट वॉट अ ग्रेट साइट So guys, I decided to hit the gym today, even after you know this port duty, because my sign-off mode is coming in, and I'm going a little bit crazy. Welcome back to another day from the high seas on one of the last voyages and route to the final destination, which is home. But not so early, because right now we are in a very traffic dense situation, and I want to cover how we tackle these fishing boats and heavy traffic in Chinese coastal. So it will be helpful for you all who are going to be at the high seas, and most probably you will come to China someday. So yeah, you have to be prepared for this. First things first. Let me show you. Where we are currently, where we are coming from, and where we are going. The last port was uh, Ningbo, and I made a night lapse of that particular area. And the next port is Shanghai. And you will, must be wondering that what the hell this second officer is doing over here. I will give you a full detail information. And also, the weather is not looking too good, which is very very good because these small fishing boats cannot sail through. Through these waters, so I am quite happy about the bad weather. Talking about this extra point, I will tell you why we have done that. It's because we had to adjust our ETA. So before, of course, as a good second officer, I would take this particular shortest route and reach our destination. But due to the port congestion and a heavy delay, we have to slow down and kill at least 14 hours. We are doing 40 RPM, which is around. Half ahead, and we cannot go below this because of the economical speed limitations. So what what we had to do? The captain told me make a detour outside. We will uh, wait for some time and then come back. And for that, I had to also prepare two passage plans. So number one and number two. So in case someone asks like any port state control, then I will tell them that yes, in initial plan was going the shortest way, but. Due to route changes, due to port congestions, and the and then the route change, I had to make two plans. Right now, if you see these pink lines like a highway, we are inside the public highway made specially by the Chinese authority for us to you know tackle these fishing boats safely. Now, technically, the fishing boats should not be in between these in the in between these pink lines. But as you will see on my radar screen, there are a few boats which are coming here and there. Okay, so there is a change of plan. The captain just came on the bridge and he said we will take the shortest route, and I put the shortest route back, and we will anchor somewhere here to adjust and kill the 14 hours. And you must be wondering that why I don't bring the captain on the camera It's because he doesn't want to be, and I always respect that. So whenever I put someone in the camera, I ask them if they say yes, then it's okay. Otherwise, you're missing out on the K S N films. Just kidding. But yeah, that's the plan. So guys, it is the same night. What we have planned is instead of dropping anchor because the wind was too much, we have started drifting, and uh, we are still 40 miles from the pilot station. So plan is tomorrow morning, we will uh, head back to our uh, coastline. For now, I will stop the engine because uh, we are already too far. So the current is from the uh, west south west. It is pushing us down. So I am expecting in one hour we will come back, and then I switch on the engine again, 
and go back. So this is how we drift to adjust our ETA. We are still in the same location drifting. The weather outside has become very bad. And we got an email from the agent that the port is shut. I will show you how it looks. Hello captain, we regret to inform you that your berthing schedule has been cancelled due to strong wind. Please wait for further instruction. So that's how the mail came in. And yeah, back to square one, drifting. While we are drifting near the port, reliable internet access is crucial for staying in touch with our loved ones and completing our work related tasks. That's where Eralo comes in, our sponsor for this video. With coverage in over 200 countries and regions worldwide, Eralo keeps you connected virtually anywhere without having to purchase expensive local SIM cards. Especially as a content creator, I rely on Eralo to upload my YouTube videos when I'm in or around a port. Uploading content has never been easier with their user-friendly app and affordable plans. With a simple purchase of the eSIM and quick installation, you'll be ready to go in no time, hassle-free. Check the video description for compatible phone list and app store links. Additionally, using the code KSN20 gets your 20% discount on all your eSIM purchases. So don't forget to take advantage of this offer. So guys, finally the time has come for arrival. Right now I'm going on the bridge. I have to take the ship to the pilotage and then the captain and the pilots will take us inside Shanghai. It's a night approach. It is almost 11.55 p.m. And uh, yeah, I'm going to go now and let's proceed to the largest port in the world. We are going to be entering the largest port in the world. Captain, uh, forward all headlines on 60% and springs on brake. Alright guys, so we are in the world's largest port with minus degrees right now, freezing temperatures. Oh, but what a great sight and uh, we're going to be here for the next 12 hours. So right now I'm going to go and first catch up on my sleep because I haven't slept. Right now it's 7 a.m. in the morning and I have to wake up at 12. So it's going to be not a very good sleep. So <laughs> anyway, let's go back and see what's the plan. <laughs> so guys, I had put my camera for a night lapse of the approach. I hope it is still there because the wind was too high and I'm guessing it. Ah, oh, it's there, it's there. So happy about this. Woo! That's the life of a seafarer. Don't sleep much. I have to work a lot. So I'm back on watch guys. I got a small 3-4 hours nap. I would say not a sleep because yeah, that's not possible. But anyway, that's the port. So I will tell you that this port is one of the largest ports in the world. We've got dry docks over there. And there are more container terminals 
somewhere there i'm going to zoom in later as a good second officer or in fact any officer always remember that whatever is under your responsibility like the checklists and the pilot cards should always be arranged remember paperwork on the ship is very important because by chance something happens that is the only evidence that uh, you know you did something right or wrong can be taken out from there and that's why i am doing all the paperwork for the passage planning and i had to show you the route the the shanghai port which is so big it has just blown my mind i'll show you on the route so dry dock starts from there and then we enter the container terminal so this is where we are presently from forward running all the way to the aft is all containers as you can see rightly and then uh, there are more terminals which okay we'll go there and show you on this side we have some gantry cranes construction of these cranes and uh, they are lined up for some delivery uh, ships to pick up i can already see them so that's why i uh, noticed it so these are all the gantry cranes waiting to be all these waiting to be picked up by some heavy load carrier and transported to some uh, port in some country mostly all the countries in the world are using chinese cranes that's how it is then if we go further this is our position we've got so much i mean this is these are all terminals and they are, they are like 10 miles stretching to 10 miles and i don't know what these terminals are but for sure these are all jetties maybe these are oil tanker jetties and it keeps going on and on like a like a river which has terminals on both the sides and we have reached 34 miles so 34 into 1.8 that's the amount of kilometers this uh, port stretches so much cargo and this is just one part of shanghai there's the other part on which uh, the big ships go like the triple e's and the mr class used to go there that is a small island but i like that better approach is smaller all right guys so what's happening in this port is that we are changing our life raft which is a 3 yearly requirement as you see last inspection was 2022 now till 2025 it is okay so this stick the harry potter stick is used to test this humidity and co2 concentration inside so i just put it over here like this and check the lights so that is what i am doing right now because lsa is also under my control uh, my uh, yeah and you you got it so the good part here is that this is the only chinese port where there is no lockdown and we can go out and i'm just checking the mooring lines here and i saw this uh, beautiful looking uh, mer ship i am not able to see the name but it's something from n and while i am here i am also carrying out a safety round that if there is anything unsafe here i will report it and then we'll make the corrective actions so yeah that's happening We have successfully departed from Shanghai. The weather is so nice, and that is the problem, as you see on my radar screen. So many fishing boats, big vessels. Now tell me, where should I go? And you have to learn how to navigate through these small fishing boats because they cause a lot of chaos. And now we have headed to Nansha. So another, yeah, another two two days, almost one and a half days to go. So full ahead. Best thing to do is first adjust your radar accordingly, and then reduce the range. So you will see, once you go to six nautical miles, you have a better overlook, and you are not overwhelmed by the you know twelve nautical mile chart, which shows so much. So you can even reduce it further. But for me, I prefer six nautical miles according to the situation right now, and then I navigate through this. So remember to adjust the radar range. and then assess the situation because too much clutter causes chaos in the mind and then the decisions are impaired so better to reduce the clutter 
and look outside always through the window as to what's happening and i'm going to call my lookout as well because this does not look so good but these are the chinese fishing boats which cause a lot of trouble see how try to cross our stern now some more and more ahead i had a pretty tough 3 hours right now we have escaped the boats as you see behind me these are pair trawlers who are on the starboard side of the highway the public main route so they are somewhere here outside the weather has become pretty nice not so much cold it's around uh, think ac temperature 16 16 degrees celsius so that's that's pretty good and yeah we are going to be entering the taiwan strait very very soon so wait for the time lapse of that for now yeah yeah tough days tough days i would say tough days guys sleepless nights also so guys i decided to hit the gym today even after you know the sport duty because my sign off mode is coming in and i'm going a little bit crazy so i have to take out all the extra energy it is 9 almost 9 am and it is time for arrival only 4 hours of sleep but that's okay because it's the last port i hope fingers crossed and i'm just looking for my keys and then we go to the You're station Guys, we are here safely alongside on my last okay, boat. Mooring operation just going to finish. We have to put the put everything on auto tension, and then leave the forecastle and go for our temperature checks. We are now unpacking the crane, as you see, for the cargo operations. That is crane number one, and like this, all the rest of the cranes will be parked. and then cargo operations will commence so ladies and gentlemen i'm going to close this video now because i have to prepare the last passage plan of the last voyage for the last video of season number 3 that will be the next one and uh, it's going to take a while so i hope you all like this video in the meantime don't forget to give it a big thumbs up subscribe to the channel share the video and perhaps i'm going to see you all one last time on the life at sea season number 3 emotional moments coming in